Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Haley, and I have mitochondrial DNA disease and I make content about everyday life with mitochondrial disease as well as several other chronic illnesses alongside with it. So if you enjoyed that type of content, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to like this video while you're at it. And today's I'm in today's today I am going to be speaking or sharing how I treat my mitochondrial disease. Before we get into the video, there are a few quick disclaimers I want to say first is I am not a medical pro professional and I am not qualified to give any medical advice. So anything that I share in this video, if I recommend any of my supplements, it is through the eyes of a patient and not a doctor. So it's really, and it's an individual person type of thing as well, because what not, what might not work for you it may work for me and vice versa. So none of these things are a cure for mitochondrial disease, not one single thing. These just help my stamina, these help me function better, and without all of these medications, I definitely would not be here making a video. So I just wanted to say this quick few things before I actually got into the video. And yes, I'm going to be sharing everything I take in the mitococktail and some additional extras. I am on prescription medications, however, the ones I am on are used for other specific conditions that I have, so I'm not going to be sharing those, but I'm going to be sharing all the supplements and over-the-counter medications I get. Okay, so I need to go on a FaceTime call for school, so I will be right back. But if the lighting changes, if the setup changes a little bit, that's why, so see you in a few minutes. Hey guys, I am back, hopefully, um... From what I said last to now isn't super choppy, I apologize if it is. Um, but I'm just going to head straight into the video. The very first thing I'm going to show, which this is single-handedly the most important medication I take. It's called CoQ10. Oh, shoot. The light, the light is reflecting off the bottle. But it is CoQ10. These are capsules and they are from the brand. A squared nutrition I might put the links in the description box of where I get all of these medications or supplements I take this four times a day and when I tell you it's a lifesaver it's a lifesaver I can physically tell when I miss a dose or if I don't take enough of it I immediately get weaker my energy goes down my endurance goes down I start feeling poopy and um, it can even lead into some pain, which is like kind of random, but pain and just like brain fog. Like I can tell like if I have, like when I miss a dose, like my heart, even if it's at a normal heart, it feels like it's about to like fly out of my chest and I can get super shaky too. So needless to say, this is so incredibly important. And like I said, I get it from the brand A Squared Nutrition. This is super, super important. The next thing, let's see. The next thing, I have also been taking this since I was five years old. And this is really common to go hand in hand with CoQ10 and the Mito cocktail for patients with Mito. Um, and it is L-carnitine. I take this three times a day and it's in liquid form. I believe we get it from Vitacost. Either Vitacost, I think, actually no, I think it's Amazon. I think it's Amazon. It is called, it is from MRM Laboratories, I don't know, MRM, that's the company named MRM, and um, this helps support the cardiovascular system as well, this also just kind of helps aids in cell functions, and it's typically really good pairing with CoQ10. This is another medication that like I can't not take. Then the next thing, let's see here, this next one is really common too within the Mito cocktail, and it is alpha, lipo alpha lipoic acid or lipoic, however you pronounce it. We get this from Vitacost. This helps cardiovascular health and overall just overall body cell functions and body functions. And um, it's just really, really helpful and helps additionally with some energy. Um, at least it has for me. So yeah, so it's alpha lipoic acid. I take this twice a day. This is honestly very important for me, and I can't go without it either. So the next two things that I take are vitamin B vitamins. So I take vitamin B2, which is also known as riboflavin. I take that once a day. Vitamin B vitamins are always really good, and also 
My body sometimes has a hard time maintaining good levels with vitamins, so vitamin B2 just kind of helps on that aspect and just overall function. Um, so yes, vitamin B2 is definitely an important one. Okay, so I actually ran out of my vitamin B complex 100 yesterday, so I don't have the normal bottle. But yes, I think vitamin B complex 100, this is not, I don't like this because it has a bunch of added stuff in it. But I have one identical that's just bigger, that same brand Solaray from Vitacost, that's just bigger, that's Complex 100. I take Vitamin B Complex 100 because if I don't take it, I smell like a dead fish, which is very, very weird. And my doctor told me years ago when this started happening that it was something to do with my gut and to just keep taking that. And I haven't dealt with that since because I've been taking that. So I take that because I do not want to smell like a dead fish. And then the next thing that I take is vitamin C from the same brand, Solaray. I really like Solaray for just like the classic vitamins, like vitamin Bs, vitamin Cs. I think there's only more vitamin C actually, um, but I do like this brand. So from Vitacost as well. And I take this, I mean, typically you would most likely take vitamin C for immune support. And that's kind of a small snippet of it, but the main reason why I take this and I take it three times a day is because I actually deal with a lot of facial pain and swelling. And we have found, I and my parents and my doctor, doctors have found that vitamin C is really one of the only things that helps it. Nobody's really sure exactly why that is happening. I'm just honestly a medical mystery, a lot of my symptoms, um, but that is the reason why I take it so much of it um, every day. But it's definitely something important. It does help with some immune support. Um, yeah. Most of it is because I really don't want to be a chipmunk and be in a lot of pain. So the next medication I take is Chelated Magnesium. It is from the brand Solgar. S-O-L-G-A-R. Again, we order this from Vitacost. We love Vitacost. And I take this three times a day. And Chelated Magnesium really helps just nerve and muscle functions as well as your heart. This just helps me. Yeah, that's basically it. And, um, let's see. Oh, I also, now these two things are not a part of the Mito cocktail. I should add, like I said, I adjust, my doctors adjust what I need. So, Every Mito patient that takes the Mito cocktail, there's always going to be something different, whether it's a dosage, whether it's you don't take a certain supplement. So it's very, it's very individualized of what you take. But I do take melatonin every night. And this is from the brand Natural, N-A-T-R-O-L. Get this from Vitacost as well. And without this, I will literally not sleep, I will not fall asleep, I will not stay asleep. I have horrible insomnia, and I cannot, I cannot sleep without this. So I take melatonin every night, Benadryl does not work for me, and melatonin has just helped me, and it's more natural. So, these are all the supplements I take. Like I said, I take, like, hold on. Like I said, I totally take more. I take like this much more than what I showed. So it's still quite a lot and this is my basket of meds and I just roll with it. So I hope this video was helpful or just insightful of some of the things that I take that help me. And I again want to say that no matter how much like I rave about certain ones, like that helped me so much. There have been moments in my life where they haven't done everything they typically do or they need to do. So it's kind of a roller coaster, if, especially if you need to increase or decrease. It's just, it's a very complicated roller coaster ride with any supplement or medication. So, yes, yeah, so these are the things that help me. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to check out all my social media links in the description box. I will have a list of all the medications if I can find them. Um, I might list a few of them for you guys to check out. But 
that is what today's video is so thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys